What's up, my kings, queens, and trolls of YouTube? This is your girl, Queen C, and Queen C is devastated right now. This is my daughter's last year of elementary school. Next year, she's going to middle school. I just dropped her off the fifth grade today, and oh my God, like, somebody help me. But anyway, um, one of my subscribers had asked me to speak on... Um, that rapist guy, David Becker, that was his name. And basically, he got two years probation um, for raping two unconscious women. And then there was something going on to where they wanted to look back into the case because they said there were some discrepancies, but that was denied. Basically, the judge, um, Thomas Estes, you know, he didn't feel as though there was any reason to look back into the case or whatever. So there's a petition going around to, um, you know, get rid of this judge. I'll post that in the links. But basically, what I wanted to to say was you know I almost feel like I'm, I'm beating a dead horse um with some of these like you know rape things in the news I'm always appalled at rape I hate it I think it's disgusting and it's like the vilest thing ever um next to child molestation but the thing is is that we already know what it is we already know what it is um if, if you have the complexion for the perfection, you get off. You get a slap on the wrist. Um, if you're a person of color, you get the book thrown at you. Um, you know, and it's, it's, it's a shame because as victims, you know, they, they have to tell their, their story like 50 million times. They got to go through telling it to the police, to their lawyer, to the judge and jury. Then they got to be questioned by the other person's attorney. Like they did something to contribute to their attack. Then they got to, then the media's in their face. Like they get no peace and to go through all that to only get a slap on the wrist is totally unfair. The other fucked up part about it is the only way a victim of rape usually gets justice as if the person that attacks them is a person of color which is absolutely crazy now if it was queen c's world let me tell you something rapists would be getting castrated by the victim's family them little dickies would be rolling because if you don't know that you're only supposed to use it when a person says yes then there's something fucking wrong with you and you don't need it like i i i swear i don't think that rapists and child molesters deserve second chances and deserve warnings you know what i mean if you're an adult and you are molesting children and you raping women and stuff like that or raping men because people are fucking crazy and freaky if you're if you're committing rape and molestation your ass needs to be castrated or throw your ass off the the, the nearest bridge like get rid of you you don't need to be here um that shit makes me sick but anyway um you know, I, I also seen on the news, which was crazy to me, that uh, that guy Brock Turner, the one that only got six months, they're picketing and protesting around his house, which is great. That's why I said I feel like I'm beating a dead horse. I can talk until the, t the cows come home, but... When people go out and they start doing something about it, that's the key to getting justice. Go out and do something about it. I love the fact that people are not giving this motherfucker no peace. He don't deserve peace. The women that he victimized, they don't have peace. You know what I'm saying? So that is great. But the judge, oddly enough, Aaron Persky or Penske, whatever the hell his name was, how about the same crime that he actually gave... Um, Brock Turner a slap on the wrist for he sentenced a Latino man to three years for that same crime how about that shit how about that shit that 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 tells you right there you know these laws need to be revamped uh, rape there needs to be a, a bar set and it needs to go all the way across the line state to state you know if you rape somebody you got to pay the ultimate price there is no forgiveness for rape within the law there's no room for that because you're telling women that when they're violated and they're raped or anybody that's raped anybody that's violated sexually you're telling them that it doesn't matter when you give people a slap on the wrist but in the meantime because some of these men have the complexion for the perfection and they can get by you have men actually sitting in jail for the rest of their lives for rape men of color now do i think that that's unfair yes because everybody should be sitting in jail for the rest of their life if they rape somebody um i also think that there's a lot of men of color sitting in jail that did not commit rape and got the book thrown at them just because they're color that's why i said it needs to be revamped but if you are guilty of raping somebody you do not deserve to walk the face of this earth that's my stance on it rape is terrible Th sexually violating somebody that's one of the worst things in the world in my opinion that you can do to somebody especially you know like 
you you have people that you know have done this and you set them free and they turn around and they do it again like what the hell and then some people do it again and still get slaps on the wrist with these judges letting these people go and do this the the the, the men of non-color that get away with doing this i think the judges see something in them that they see in themselves and have probably gotten away with because i cannot see somebody telling somebody that raped somebody oh you could get six months oh you get two years of probation i don't want to ruin your life but what about the, the the life that he ruined you know what about the lives he ruined because when you victimize somebody that also falls on their family the way that that falls on the family because the family has to be a support system for that person they are are, are you know upset that maybe feeling like they weren't there to be able to protect that person it's a whole lot that comes with that but i just wanted to do something real quick if you guys want to email me you can email me at queen at gmail.com don't forget to subscribe to me i'm up to over 900 subscribers woo, woo, woo. um follow me on instagram and snapchat at queen crescenda and like my facebook page the queen sees hive until next time peace guys